hello. Let's have fun and explore getting the body ready for a baby hopper. Let's start in downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Press your arms down towards the earth. Really energize your arms. Your baby hopper is a bit of an arm balance. You'll be on one forearm and you want to be pressing the arm down. So find the action here on your hands, pressing into the earth. At the same time, in our downward facing dog, we're stretching out the hamstrings. The baby hopper also requires length in the hamstrings for the back of the legs. Connect to your breath. Breathing through your nose. Pressing your hands down towards the earth. Broadening your sit bones. Lengthening your tailbone towards the sky. Finding some beautiful warmth, strength and openness in your body. One more breath in. Take a long breath out. And shift forward to our high plank and lower all the way down to your tummy. Untuck your toes, come into dolphin plank. Come up onto your forearms, elbows under your shoulders, fingers spread wide. Press your arms down, draw in your belly, lift your hips up. You can choose to stay here with your legs bent and your knees down. Or a stronger, you can tuck your toes and straighten your legs. Refining the strength in your arms, pressing down. Also strengthening and awakening your core here. Long, smooth, steady breath through your nose. And just building heat to warm up. One more breath in. And breathe out, lower down. Plant your palms by your chest. Press yourself up and let's come into Janusasana. So reach your right leg out in front of you. Bend your left knee out to the side. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, fold forward. You could place your hands either side of the leg on your leg or if you can reach around your foot. Return to lengthening the hamstrings. We're also adding a little stretch for the outer hips. Your baby hopper requires that length through the legs and the hips. One more breath in here. And as you breathe out, rise up and cross your left foot to the outside of your right leg. Twist to your left, left hand behind you. Wrap your right arm around your left leg. So we're stretching into the outer left hip and thigh. It can also be a wonderful, helpful preparation to get into our baby hopper. Cultivate your calm and steady breath. So find a sense of ease. One more breath in. Breathe out, unwind, switch sides, straighten your left leg, bend your right knee out to the side. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And see where your hands rest. When we do come into our baby hopper, it does make it easier if you have the length in your hamstrings to be able to grab your foot or your big toe. You can also do it holding onto your leg. Just encouraging a little more length in the back line of your body here.
One more breath in. And breathe out, rise up. Take your right foot to the outside of your left leg. Twist to your right, right hand on the floor behind you. Wrap your left arm around your right leg. Encouraging your right knee to move across the midline of your body. And stretching into that outer right hip and outer thigh. One more breath in. And breathe out, unwind. Come lie on your back. Hug your left knee into your chest. And we're gonna come into a twist. Take the left leg across your body. Open your left arm out to the side. And then straighten out your left leg. If it's available, hold around your foot with your right hand. Otherwise, just take your right hand on your left leg and reach your left leg and your left arm away from each other here. Hopefully this pose feels lovely. Enjoy the restful feeling of being on your back. One more breath in. And breathe out, drawing your tummy as you gently unwind. Switch sides, hug your right knee into your chest, straighten your left leg. Twist, carry your right leg across your body. Reach your right arm out to the side and then straighten out your right leg. If it's available, left hand around the foot, otherwise left hand on the leg. Reach your right arm and right leg away from each other. Enjoy one more breath in here. And as you breathe out, drawing your belly as you unwind. Hug your knees into your chest. And roll yourself up. Return to your hands and your knees. Downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back. And from here, step your left foot halfway up on your mat. Turn all ten toes to the left. So flex your right foot beyond the outer edge of the foot. Lift your hips up and stretch your left arm overhead. Find a side bend. Notice the contact points to the floor, your right hand and your feet. Press down through those contact points as you lift your hips up. the strength in your right arm and shoulder. One more breath in. Stretch out your sides and outer hips. Breathe out lower your right outer hip down to your mat. You might like to bring your left foot closer in towards you. And here you can either shrug your right shoulder and rest your right ear on the shoulder. Or you can bring your forehead towards the knee. Maybe a little bit more if you can roll your top hip so it's stacked in line with your bottom hip. Just find that place that suits you. We're just easing the body into our peak pose of baby hopper. Okay, from here, lower your right forearm down to the floor and really press the forearm down to a strong through the shoulder. Stay here or if it's available, you can lower both arms down. It doesn't um, matter too much if you can't get your left arm down. Mostly it is your right arm. Just easing into this pose here. And then just stay on your right forearm. Swing your right leg forward. You can use your hand to help the leg come forward. Again, make sure your left foot is close enough towards you. So here's where the hamstring stretches. Um, are helpful. And then reach with your left arm super long and see if you can hold onto your foot 
maybe it's your big toe, maybe it's your leg, but if you can hold the foot, hold the foot. And then press your right arm into the floor and just lean back. So as you lean back, if you're holding your foot or your leg, your leg will lift up off the floor. And notice how your thighs are really close and we're almost there. So all you need to do is rock forward and your hips will lift up off the floor and you're in your baby hopper. You're pressing your right arm down. There's contact between your right foot and left hand or holding onto your big toe or leg. So if this is your pose or if you want a little fancy variation, you could take your hand to your chin. <laughs> awesome. When you're ready, release. Return to your downward facing dog. We'll face this way. So we're just going to come into the second side. Just breathing, downward facing dog. Step your right foot halfway up on your mat. Turn all ten toes to the right. So flex your left foot beyond the outer edge of the foot. Reach your right arm overhead. Left hand and feet press down as your hips lift up. You're breathing here. Finding the balance between the strength and the openness in your body. One more breath in. And breathe out, lower your outer left hip to the floor. You can either shrug your left shoulder and rest your left ear on the shoulder, inviting a little more length through that left side body. Or you can bring your forehead towards the knee. And get a little bit more if you can roll your top hip a little bit more forward. Just breathing here, easing the body into these positions, no forcing into anything. Just acknowledge wherever you are in each pose, celebrating your body and all the interesting shapes that you can bend into. Okay. When you're ready, lower your left forearm down to the floor. And really press the arm down, so we're finding that stability and strength in the shoulder. And stay here, or you might lower your right arm down as well. Not so necessary for the pose, but a great prep if you can get it there. So also enjoying a twist. Just breathing here nice and calmly. And just being on your left forearm, swing your left leg forward. So maybe you need to bring that right foot closer in towards you. Perhaps you use your hand to help your leg come further forward. And then reach along with your top arm. You can hold your foot, hold your foot, otherwise it would be toe wherever you can reach in your leg. And you might stay here, which is wonderful in itself. This is asking a lot of the body to be in this position. Or if you want more, you can lean back. When your leg will lift off the floor, notice your thighs are really close. And then just one more step, you just rock forward. If you're holding your foot, you press the foot into your hand to rock forward. And feel free to adjust where your forearm is. You might need to have it further out or closer in towards you. So find that distance that's appropriate for the proportions of your body. And you're in your baby hopper. So congratulate yourself wherever you are in the pose. Again, if you want that little variation, you can bring your hand to your chin, smile, taking flights, it's an arm balance, it's a hamstring stretch, it's a hip opener, it's a twist. And when you're ready, release. As our baby hopper was quite compact, let's just open up the front of the body. So lie on your tummies and come into Sphinx pose. And your forearms open up to your heart, open your chest. If it's comfortable, plant your palms, press up into cobra or upward facing dog. So just open up the front of your body. Collarbone smiling as they broaden. One more breath in. And breathe out, lower down, flip over onto your back for a happy baby. We're engaging the inner thighs a little, so just open up the inner seam of your legs. Hold onto your feet with your hands, knees wide. Breathe down in. 
into your belly. Maybe if you like being a very happy baby and rocking a little side to side. Enjoy one more breath in here. And breathe out, release into your Shavasana, short and sweet. Close your eyes, relax. Acknowledge yourself for your beautiful essence. Your exploration into your baby papa. You're taking flight. Just invite a sense of ease, filling up with a light joy, a gentle bliss, your whole being smiling. And feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. And just whenever you're ready, you can make your way back up. And I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.